The motor's still running? The key's out of it. Do you have this problem? Let's get into it. The trunk behind me is showing a bunch of symptoms of a bad high pressure fuel pump. All of these are gonna include dieseling, which is what you saw, turning the key off and the motor still running. We have rich codes with the check engine light. When we pull the dipstick, the oil smells like fuel. We also have a hesitation on acceleration, which is most noticeable right around two to 4,000 RPM. All of these point towards the high pressure fuel pump, so we're gonna be replacing it. If you need to replace this and you wanna get it done right and save yourself some money, go ahead and check us out at 1aauto.com. Before we get into the repair, let's quickly go over high pressure fuel pumps. These are run mechanically by the motor. A cam load will push on this spring, which will open a valve and the pump will spray fuel into the cylinders. The problem with these is there's a seal inside of here and they start to leak. So now we have leaking fuel that's not accounted for. The problem with this is it'll then get sucked up by the PCV system, put right back into the front of the motor and will cause it to continue running, causing that dieseling problem. Before we start taking anything apart, it's very important that you bleed the fuel pressure on this system. These high pressure fuel systems can hold up to 2,500 PSI. That's a lot of pressure. We're gonna make sure we use all of our proper PPE, including gloves and safety glasses. Now let's get into the job. Here we have the two fuel lines. This is the old one, this is the new one. It's very important to replace these when doing this job. These are crushed fuel lines. So when these get tightened down, these get crushed. So you can see it's a very slight difference, but on the right side with our old one, you can see that it's just slightly shorter than our new one. So when we tighten down this new one, it'll crush like this old one. These are a one-time use and it's very important to replace these when doing this job. Remove the fuel pump bolts. Pull the fuel pump straight up and out. You may have to give it a slight twist. Remove the bracket and the gasket. Okay, before we install our new high pressure fuel pump, we have to put the cam in the correct position. To do this, we're gonna turn the crank pulley until our number one piston is on the top dead center of the exhaust stroke. To do that, we're gonna use a boroscope and we're gonna look down at the top of the valve. Although we're using a boroscope, it is not required. You can use a flashlight and look into the port to see the valve. Now we're gonna use a half inch bar on the front using a 24 millimeter socket and we're gonna use a long extension that's going through the spark plug number one hole. And this is gonna help us find where that piston is sitting. So we're gonna stick that in the spark plug hole. We can see that our valve right now is closed. We're gonna continue turning and my hand is traveling up on my extension. So that means the piston's coming up towards us. And now we're traveling back down with our valve still closed. That means we should have already passed our intake compression and we should be finishing our power stroke as soon as this piston comes back up. And you can see that the extension is traveling up and when we hit the top of this, we should be on top dead center of the exhaust stroke. And right there, you can see the valve move very slightly and that'll be the overlap. And that means we're gonna be on top dead center of the exhaust stroke. Another method is using a specialty tool. This is just a plug that sits on top of the cam follower that will sit flush when at top dead center.
All right, so we have the truck all back together. We put the fuel pump fuse back in and it's ready to go. The big three things with this job are you're gonna wanna replace your intake manifold gaskets. You're gonna need to replace that fuel line, that crush one. And the last one is if you've had these symptoms, you're gonna wanna do an oil change right away. This is because the fuel has gotten into your oil and it's thinned it. This thin oil can cause damage to your camshaft and we don't want that. Let's give it a start and then turn it off and make sure we don't have that dieseling anymore. Starts right up and it shuts right off. 